another weekend of happy diving for us and we were greeted by that rainbow when we arrived in Batangas. It's a balikan dive which means we got there in the morning and then we left in the afternoon. But once we arrived, we immediately jumped on the boat with a bunch of other divers and it was a deep dive. Here Ryan and I actually got our advanced open water certification the weekend before this. So we were kind of like excited to go down deep. Um, I remember when I was going down, everything was just compressing on my face and it was really tightening up. But yeah, that's pretty normal because we were going, I don't know, maybe, but let's see what my dive computer says. It was already, what, 33 meters deep. And oh, it turned 34 and here it's already 37. I was just filming because, you know, I wanted to see how far down I can go. And you hear me scream. I think I'm screaming. Um, so yeah, I went, well it says here 40 meters, 41, but when I checked it after the dive, it was actually 42.3 or maybe 42.2 meters, which is actually my deepest dive as of yet. And I googled and it says there that it's equivalent to a 14-story high building, which is kind of crazy. You really don't get to imagine that once you're underwater. Oh gosh, excuse my belt and my bating ding, what an eyesore. <laughs> But yeah, oh, that's JR. Um, he accompanied us on several dives before, and he told us that, you know, he was pretty amazed with how much we have improved, like, I guess, in terms of our buoyancy. But yeah, so I was really happy to hear that. She's using the GoPro 10. I was stuck with the GoPro 5. I didn't get to bring my Insta360 One RS underwater because my dive case is still in Hong Kong and I'm waiting for Tanya's mom to bring it home to the Philippines. And that's Joy doing some mad skills <laughs> with the bubbles. And again, JR showing off a photo without his regulator and a mask. And then we exited through the shore and yeah, I found this creepy ass doll i don't know what it was doing there but it took um just a couple of shots of it and then headed back up and i was very surprised with myself because i got to carry my whole gear up and mind you there were several steps going up and so yeah it was really like a defining moment for me like yeah i'm strong but anyway we went down again and then we encountered this gang of clownfish protecting their anemone and then over here, I remember, you know, I, I wanted to turn off the camera already, but then I saw this beautiful lionfish and I was just, you know, I, I had to take a shot of that. So I did. <laughs> here you can see my Moldavite necklace hanging out. And I guess the reason for that is because, you know, I really forgot to zip my wetsuit fully up. And it was crazy because I was wondering the entire time why I was feeling cold. But there you go. That was the reason. And look at that mantis shrimp. So on this second dive, we were on our way to see this beautiful thing. This is a giant gorgonia or a giant sea fan. And it's really huge. I don't know if my video is doing it justice, but it's really massive. <laughs> and it's beautiful too. It's like really magical. And I don't know, but every time we go here, we really visit this site or this area because... I don't know, it's just so mesmerizing. Like, even after seeing it so many times, I still am mesmerized by it. Um, so yes, there's Quiadeo with his macro cam. 
and that's me. <laughs> um, another shot of me going around the Gorgonia. Lois was actually planning to go down to 50 meters and for some reason, I don't know, maybe I forgot that she was heading down because I was following them and they were like telling me, no, head back up. And I was like, what? I don't understand. Of course, you know, you can't speak underwater. But, and then I realized, oh my gosh, yeah, they were going down. It was just Lois and Choi. So the three of us, Kideo and Kiraian, we just hung out a little bit in this area right here while we waited for them to go up. And then after that, we it's time to go back up to the boat. So this is Kiraian trying out his DSMB for the first time. And then it was Kuyadeo's turn. I was trying to get cinematic shots of him, but <laughs> I think I kind of failed because I was really up close. So I decided to pull back a little, but I think, I don't know what's wrong with the thread um, or the string, but yeah, it just flew away. And then it was time for Merienda, and of course, you know, a BDS dive trip is never complete without their delicious tulon, like really, and of course, this stunning view. <laughs> And yeah, that's me appreciating the color on my forehead. I love it. I love that I'm a little bit tan. And then I got to try out the GoPro 10, which had the lights, and they were trying out the lights, and you know, just out of the blue, boing. <laughs> And that's the culprit right there. <laughs> Lois hit me on the head with her pink fins. <laughs> and then later we decided to visit the white tip sharks that we saw from before. So they're still there, still cute, and still hiding. <laughs> That's my thing. I like to squeal with the light underwater. And here I am trying to sing part of your world without my regulator, but yeah, Kuya Day was too far to hear me um, or to capture my voice underwater. But yeah, it was a fun dive. I had a ton of fun as usual. And yes, I purposefully left my hair floating or flowing like that. I didn't tie it just because I wanted to pretend like I'm Ariel during this time. <laughs> Just when I thought that this dive couldn't get any better, we came across my underwater spirit animal and it was in this form of this massive turtle right here. Oh my gosh, he was really big but you know, he was totally elusive, like probably the shy type I guess. Um, we swam after him but yeah, he was really fast and so yeah, we are quite sad that you know, I just had to say goodbye. And then a few minutes later, you know, we just swam around and then Lois spotted the same turtle oh my gosh and it was really huge it was sitting under there and at first I didn't see it but eventually boom it flew out and it was like the most magical thing well swam out actually but yeah it was the most magical thing I have ever seen he was super fast and again being turtle chasers slash stalkers we decided to swim after it but we were no match he was really fast um, and yeah, we couldn't swim far away from the group, so yeah, sad face. And at voila, that's about it. That concludes this video for this week. Um, thank you so much for watching my crazy underwater shenanigans. And yeah, I hope I see you again soon.